Hi guys, um, this is Ms. Segovia and I am going to read through our chapter, Fight for Independence. Uh, we may have several videos for this, so we're just going to go through as much as we can. So you click on the Fight for Independence and we're going to go to Texas Revolution, pages 132 to 137. Click there and we're going to have the first page. And this is the building background page. Um, it reads, as the Texas colonies grew, the settlers did not uh, always agree with the Mexican government. The settlers wanted to do things their own way and were unhappy with the government's rules. As a result, the settlers met with Austin to decide what to do. So they're ready to meet and have a meeting with Stephen F. Austin about what they should do because they are not happy with the Mexican government. So some vocabulary you're gonna go through is bilingual, convention, delegate, tax, dictator, Texas revolution. Some people we're gonna talk about are Sam Houston, Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana, William B. Travis, Martin Perfecto de Cos, and um, we're going to be looking at a timeline on the next page. Here is the next page. Um, at the bottom, you should be able to see a picture. This picture is a map of the colonies in Texas. Actually, this one is here. That's the map of all of the colonies in Texas, and they're outlined. Um, it shows Austin's colony and Spanish cities such as San Antonio, and that's this one down here. Okay, all right, two cultures meet. East Texas was hundreds of miles from Mexico City, the capital of Mexico. Settlers in Texas were mostly left to govern themselves. When Mexico began to take more control, some Texans began to resist. So right now we're in about, we're anywhere from the years 1827 to 1835. Different ways of life. Some of the problems between the government of Mexico and the settlers from the United States arose from differences between their cultures. In Texas, all government papers were written in Spanish. Most United States settlers couldn't understand Spanish. Some people, such as Stephen F. Austin, were bilingual. That means they spoke different languages. This word describes people who are able to speak two languages. Many settlers also believed people should be able to choose their own religion. However, Mexican law only allowed the Roman Catholic religion. So those were some of the differences they wanted to, they wanted to have their own religions. The poster like this one above encouraged people to come to Texas. Texas forever. The usurper of the South has failed in his efforts to enslave the free men of Texas. The wives and daughters of Texas will be saved from the brutality of Mexican soldiers. Now is the time to immigrate to the Garden of America. A free passage and all found is offered to New Orleans to all at New Orleans to all applicants. Every settler receives a location of 800 acres of land. And that was um, them trying to bring people into Texas. A new Mexican law. Some Texans began to think about breaking away from Mexico. This worried Mexican leaders. As a result, Mexico passed a new law on April 6, 1830. The law stopped immigration to Texas from the United States. This meant that many families would be separated from their relatives in the United States. It also stopped slavery and put limits on trade between Texas and the United States. Many colonists became angry. The law would stop the growth of their businesses and towns. 